Welcome to Courtney's Total Body Workout with the Resistance Band. We'll be doing two circuits of 10 moves. Resistance bands are portable, inexpensive, and great for strengthening. Choose a band that will challenge your muscles while you're doing your reps. Adjusting your hand or body position will allow you to get the most tension out of each move. If it feels easy with little tension, choose a heavier band. Rest briefly between the sets and remember to hydrate. Let's begin with squat palms up chest press. Step on the band with your feet shoulder width apart. Hold the handles with your palms facing up and your elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, tense up your abs, squat down until your thighs are parallel to the ground, and simultaneously extend your arms forward until they are also parallel to the ground. Pause briefly, exhale, and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 12 reps. To make this exercise more challenging, squat lower. You're working your abs, core, arms, chest, glutes, quads, shoulders, and triceps. Next, we're gonna do X squat and rear fly. Stand with your feet together. Loop and cross the band behind your knees. Hold the handles with your palms down and extend your arms out so they are parallel to the ground. Inhale, squat down, and simultaneously bring your arms in front of you with your elbows locked. Exhale, and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps. You're working your abs, core, arms, back, glutes, quads, and shoulders. Next, let's do reverse lunge with rear fly up to curls. Step on the band with one foot. Bend your other leg at the knee and place your foot lightly on its toes. Hold the handles with both hands. Have your elbows bent and your palms facing your body at shoulder level. Inhale, tighten your abs, lunge back, and simultaneously extend your arms to the back. Pause briefly, exhale, and then return to the starting position, curling up the band. Three, two, one, begin. Don't let your knee touch the ground when you lunge back and keep your back straight throughout. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, biceps, glutes, quads, and shoulders.
Now get ready for a side lunge with arm swing. Step on the band with one foot. Slightly bend your other foot and rest it on its toes. Hold both handles at your side with your arms extended at hip level and your palms facing each other. Make sure it's the same side that's stepping on the band. Keep your hips facing forward. Inhale, tense up your abs, and lunge to the side. Keep your back straight and simultaneously swing your arms to the opposite side. Pause briefly, exhale, and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, abductors, adductors, glutes, legs, obliques, quads, and shoulders. Now get ready for a sumo squat to shoulder press. Step on the band with your feet wider than shoulder width. Hold both hands at shoulder level with your elbows bent and your palms facing forward. Inhale, tighten your abs, squat down, pause briefly, squeeze your glutes, exhale, come back up, and alternate pressing the band above and slightly to the side of your head. Three, two, one, Begin. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, glutes, obliques, quads, shoulders, and triceps. Next, we're gonna do step back and one arm row. Shorten the band so that you feel tension when you step on it. Step on it with one foot and keep your other foot next to it, off of the band. Hold both handles with one arm bent at hip level and the other arm extended at your side, with your palms facing each other. 
Inhale, tighten your abs and twist your body, stepping to the side and pulling your elbow back as high as you can. Pause briefly, exhale, and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, back, biceps, legs, obliques, and shoulders. Now let's do squat down to twist lateral extension. Stand with your feet wider than shoulder width. Keep one foot on the center of the band. Hold both handles with your elbows bent in front of your chest and your palms facing each other. Inhale, tense up your abs, squat down and twist to the side, simultaneously extending your arms to each side until they're parallel to the ground. Pause briefly, exhale, and return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, arms, glutes, obliques, quads, shoulders, and triceps. Now we're gonna do Superman. 
Get on all fours. Insert your foot inside one of the handles and hold the other end with your opposite hand, running the band over your back. Inhale, tighten your abs, and extend your foot and opposite arm to create tension in the band. If the band is too long, shorten it. Make sure your opposite hand is directly under your shoulder and that your thigh is perpendicular to the ground throughout the exercise. Pause for a moment, exhale, and then return to the starting position. Do 15 reps on each side. Three, two, one, begin. You're working your abs, core, glutes, obliques, quads, and shoulders. Now let's move on to resisted pelvic thrust. Lie on your back with your legs bent at 90 degrees and your feet resting on your heels. Flex your toes to create tension in your shins. Fold the band and place it over your pelvis, holding each end with your arms extended at your sides and your palms facing each other. Inhale, tighten up your abs, squeeze your glutes, and thrust up until your upper body and thighs are in a straight line. Pause briefly, exhale, and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps. You're working your abs, core, arms, and glutes. Now let's do side crunch. Get on all fours. Extend one leg and one arm from the same side. Your other arm should be directly under your shoulder with your elbow locked and your palm flat on the ground. Your other thigh should be perpendicular to the ground. Inhale, tense up your abs and crunch your elbow to your thigh. Pause briefly, exhale, and return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, arms, and back.
Hello, and welcome back to another great workout here with us at Gymra. Congratulations on finishing Courtney's resistant band workout, circuit number one. Now let's go full steam ahead after your fitness goals and start her second circuit. You're already familiar with the exercises, so let's raise the bar a bit and push yourself by using heavier resistant bands. Remember, the harder you work out, the better and faster the results will be. Select a band that is challenging yet doable with total control. You wanna get results fast, but you must do it in a safe, controlled fashion. This is a lifelong active endeavor and must be carried out with the utmost focus and not some fly-by-night, get-fit-real-fast event. Have plenty of water with you to keep yourself hydrated. You're in very good hands and we're with you every step of the way. We'll start everything off by doing squat with palms up and chest press. Place the band under both feet. Make sure that the resistance level is the same for each arm. As you squat down, press your arms to the front of your body. Breathe out as you do this. That's it. Keep your arms tensed and concentrate on your shoulders when pressing forward. And squeeze your glutes together on the way up. Keep your posture neutral throughout the exercise. Nicely done. Doing this will get you strong, tight glutes, toned shoulders, and a strong chest. Great job. Keep it up. Focus on everything. Your arms, chest, abs, glutes, shoulders, and quads. Get your entire body engaged. Great job. You did very well on utilizing every part of your body. Keep up the great work ethic. Get some water and let's move on to the second exercise. Great job on the first exercise. Let's keep up that great energy for the rest of the routine. Take a deep breath and let's do the opposite of what you just did. Let's do X squat and rear fly. By doing this, you're working on your quads, glutes, back, and shoulders. That's it. Keep your legs together and squat down as low as you can. Don't lock out your knees. Keep your posture neutral always and breathe out as you come up. Keep your arms straight always and extend them out and back as you squat up. There you go, great job. Focus on contracting your back and your rear shoulders as you come up. Excellent, you got this. Try not to bend your arms or round your back because then the focus is taken away from your back and shoulders. Great job. Take a short break, drink a little water, and do some quick stretches. Keep up the great positive energy. Your body will thank you big time. Now let's piggyback on the last exercise and concentrate on your legs, back, and shoulders again. And this time we're gonna add a set of curls into the equation. You're gonna do a reverse lunge with rear fly up to curl. Wrap and secure the middle of the band around the center of your foot of the forward leg. Hold the handles with your palms facing up. Breathe out as you lunge back to a comfortable depth and rear fly. Then breathe out again when you come up and curl. Keep your posture upright without bending down or up. Great job, looking really good. Keep your abs tensed throughout the exercise. You're doing really well. Your quads, glutes, back, shoulders, and abs will be strong and look really good. You're doing it. Remember to go all out and select a band that is challenging, but you must always have total control of your movements. It's okay to struggle and you should struggle towards the end of each exercise, but you must be in control. Well done. Now we're gonna concentrate on your shoulders while focusing on your core. You're gonna do side lunge with arm swing. By doing the side lunges, you're working your quads, glutes, and inner and outer thigh. This makes you work your legs, shoulders, and core musculature a lot because you have to get them in and out of stability. Keep your chest up and your shoulders back throughout, 
and breathe out as you step to the side and twist your upper body. Make sure the band is secured around and under your straight leg. Excellent job. You're almost halfway there and your energy is still very good. Keep your abs and back tight always. Twist to the side as far as you can to work your shoulders, arms, and obliques. Like most exercises we do here at Gymra, this exercise uses a lot of muscles all at once so that you're exercising harder and smarter. It burns more calories and it revs up your metabolism. Great job! Get some rest and a little water. Shake off your tiredness and let's jump right into the next exercise. Okay, here we go. This exercise combines your typical sumo squats while engaging your shoulders and triceps. You do this by alternating your shoulder presses by doing one arm at a time with a side bend on top. Wrap and secure the band under both feet and spread your legs apart, wider than shoulders width. Breathe out as you press up and arch to one side. Nicely done. Remember, you must always be in control and the band needs to be challenging. You should struggle with your reps to make better and faster gains. Very good. This exercise will hit your quads, glutes, shoulders, triceps, and obliques. Avoid going too fast that you lose your balance. On the way down, focus on your legs and go as low as you comfortably can. On the squat up, focus on your shoulders and triceps. Well done. You're doing great and you should feel great. Congrats on doing so well. You're well on your way. Don't get distracted, don't give up, and don't slow down. Keep it going. All right, let's ride on the last exercise and maximize your shoulders and core musculature some more. Let's do step back and one arm row. This exercise looks simple enough, but it can be very challenging. Position the band under the middle of one foot. While keeping your posture neutral throughout, step back and row and twist with one arm at the same time. Breathe out when doing this and always keep your abs tight. That's it. Just keep that movement and try to step back and row and twist your body a little further each time. Your body should be tensed throughout. This exercise will get you sexy, tight, hard abs, a strong back, defined shoulders, and great biceps. Keep it up, you're doing really great. To make it more challenging, you could either hold it at the end of the twist or use a stronger band. You got this. It just takes practice and you're doing great. Well done. Take a little rest and hydrate yourself. 
This next exercise will work your upper and lower body at the same time. You're gonna work your shoulders, arms, abs, and legs together. Let's do squat down to twist lateral extension. Spread your legs about shoulders width apart for better balance and then wrap the band under one foot. As you squat down, breathe out, twist and extend your arms to the sides. This is one time where you can work your shoulders and legs at the same time. Keep your focus on your form and don't bend down. There you go, you're doing really well, keep it up. In addition to working your shoulders and legs, you're also working your abs and more precisely, your obliques. With combo moves like this where you utilize so many muscles, you'll get your fitness goals in a shorter period of time. Great job. Get a little water and do some quick stretches for your back, like bending down toe touches. You gotta stay strong and energized for the last couple of exercises. Congratulations, you're almost done. You've done very well and you should be very proud of yourself. We sure are. You have come so far and pushed through so much. Just a little more, you got this. You're gonna do Superman. Get on all fours, strap one handle through one foot and hold the other handle with the opposite hand. While keeping your posture neutral throughout the exercise, breathe out and extend your arm and leg apart at the same time. Then bring your knee and elbow together. Focus on your shoulders and glutes and squeeze them hard. Very nice, keep it up, you're doing great. Your shoulders will be strong and defined and your glutes will be hard and round because of this. Well done. Just two more exercises to go and you're all done. Great job. Great job so far. Now we're gonna move it along with resisted pelvic thrust. Lie down on the mat, cross the band across your stomach and hold your hands down to the ground. Breathe out and thrust up as high as you can. There you go. Focus on contracting your glutes on the way up and keep it tight on the way down. This exercise concentrates on your glutes. It will give you that sexy, tight, round butt that you'll be proud to show off. There you go. That's how it's done. Push it up higher, make it burn. Squeeze those glutes. If your glutes are not burning, then you should have pushed harder and higher. Excellent job. Way to go after it. All right, take a little break before your last exercise. Drink a little water and recover your breathing. Well done. All right, you did it. You've reached the last exercise of your routine. Let's bring it all together and do side crunch. Get on all fours and side crunch your elbow and knee together. 
Breathe out every time you bring your elbow and knee together. You got this in the bag. Be strong and push through this last one. Keep your abs tense throughout and focus on folding your abs sideways. Don't go too fast that you lose your balance. Keep it nice and steady. You're amazing. Great job, you did really well. Now drink some water, do some stretches, and eat some healthy food soon. You did great.